Oh, before you start, the ritual is strongly advised. Also, uh, like, do feel free to tell me if the game is too loud or too quiet. Um, when we get into actual gameplay, uh, that's that's when we'll kind of that's that's when we'll know exactly where we're at with audio. So the ritual is strongly advised. Firstly, for maximum immersion, ensure you are in a dark environment with no interruptions. So, uh, well, it's, you know, it's, it's four in the afternoon and my PC is like right in front of my window. So I have the sun coming right through in my eyes. So it's, it's not, unless I can block out the sun, I, my curtains don't do anything. Go, sun goes right through it. So can't, can't do anything about that. No dark environment for me. Hmm. I, I, it, I can't spooky it up in here. Darn. <laughs> All right. Oh, secondly, audio is an important part of the experience. So be sure to use headphones or speakers turned up loud. Oh, oh boy. I, I like, you know, I like this. I like it when a game tells me, look, look, for, for you know, to maximize spooks, you gotta wear, you gotta wear headphones and you gotta dim the lights, maybe, let, you know, put on some candles, maybe get a little mood, you know, mood lighting going on. <laughs> I like that. Gotta, gotta maximize the spook efficiency here. Alright. Oh, finally. See what you need to see. Uh, a or S. Be yourself and in... Be yourself and enjoy the adventure. Jasper, smiley face. <laughs> okay. Um, well, uh, I, I, as far as brightness goes, I think this is about right. Like, I, I can change the gamma, I think. I think. It, it, it's not really changing the way I want it to. Yeah, doesn't doesn't really. I I can't really. Wait, here we go. Here we go. There's not a whole lot of different. There's really not a whole lot of difference. So I'm just gonna put it at five. Five five is right in the middle. So that that seems good to me. Hmm. <laughs> And, oh, goodness, before we get it, like, it, I might want to, hold on, I'm going to turn the game audio up a little bit because the, the, the title music is way too loud, but I think the game itself is pretty quiet. So let me, uh, let me just fix something real quick. All right, let me, let me just uh, adjust that audio before we really get into it. So I'm going to, I'm going to play it safe still. I had it down to 30%. Oh, okay, okay. There's a little ambiance going on. Can you hear that? You, you hear that ambiance going on? So, uh, that's at 100%. How's this? This is 70% right here. I, I can still hear it, but I need to know if you all can still hear the, the little ambient background noise. So, at 70% right here. Hmm. Because I, I like to play it safe, and I feel like 100% that if a loud noise happens, that might just blow your ears out. So, okay. So I think I think 70% is good. It, it's just, I, I'm nervous about putting things on 100% because it's a horror game, so if a loud noise happens, you know. Alright. So, okay, I think, I think we're ready. I, uh, I, I hope you've all, you know, I, I hope you've all got your mood lighting, and... You know, you, you, you're, you're all got headphones and or speakers. You know, you're really getting into it. So remember, be yourselves. <laughs> hmm. And I'll turn it down a little bit more if, uh, like, d d tell me in real time if it's okay. Oh, God. <laughs> well, that's always going to get me. That, that's always going to get me. Mm. But, yeah, let's, okay, let's be ourselves. Let's do it. One more thing. Please pick the phrase which best describes you as a player. Note that this setting cannot be changed once chosen. 
Huh. I'm new to th I'm new to this, and I'm scared. I know my way around. Uh, well, here's the thing. It's It's been years since I played this game. So, so I'm gonna say that I'm new to this, and I'm scared. I, I'm scared and confused. Please hold my hand. <laughs> yeah, this is the clever way to choose difficulty. But yeah, since it's been a while, we're new and scared. Hmm. And and yeah, get ready for all the ellipses. Not it's not quite squall level, but we'll see. Okay, normal mode selected. My name is... So this, this is you. So yeah, my name is not important anymore, I guess. We're, we're just you. used to know how long I've been here. Now I've got no idea. Been a while since the outbreak started. That much I know. So, yes, zombies or, well, some mysterious infection thing. Hold up with the sound of those things outside. Monsters, I guess you'd call them. As far as I know, I'm the only one left. The Lone Survivor! Title drop! <laughs> Roll the credits. Ugh. Can't go on much longer, though. Almost out of supplies. And if there's anyone else alive out there, I need to find them. If nothing else, I don't want to die alone. Well, that it sounds like a good objective to me, right? That's that's our objective. Don't die alone. All right, here we go. So we're actually in game now, and we're this nice little pixelated fellow right here. You, the pixels in this game are huge. Like this game actually looks better in a tiny window. When it's full screen, I can. Like, each pixel is like an inch big, so it's it's a bit intense. So, alright, alright. Also, how's how's that audio? Now's a good time to... Now's a good time to, to really get a feel for it. Alright, so... The arrow keys let us move around, all that fun stuff. And X is to interact. Uh, it's good-ish, dude. Do we need to tone it down a little or tone it up a little? Uh, hmm. I mean, it did say that sound was very important to the experience. You know, if you, if you don't have your uh, if, if you don't have your, your your fancy headphones on, I don't know. You're not getting the experience. So okay, let's. Uh, we can look at the armchair cup of coffee. Let's look at the armchair. It's just an armchair. Cup of coffee. Looks like a double espresso. And, uh, I, I will not drink the coffee. Maybe later. So, uh, what about talk to man who wears a box? Ma man who wears a box. Uh, okay. Hi. Busy watching that wall. Okay, well the man the man who wears a box doesn't really have a whole lot to say to us. So I guess let's drink the coffee. Yep, I'll I'll have a sip. I'll drink the coffee. <sighs> Lovely. Uh-oh. Well, I think I can hear something down there. All right, well, let's let's go forward. That's all we can do. What's going on here? 
I don't like it. But just gonna stand there shaking your head, huh? Yep. Yeah, I, I guess we're having a party. He's dancing. He's definitely dancing. Damn. It's one of those things. I don't think it can see me. Wait. Looks like there's a hiding spot just behind it. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> I'll see if I can sneak past. So, all right, it's it's, it's teaching us stealth now. But um, okay, we we gotta. Ooh, it sounds like we want to tone things down a little bit. All right, hold on, I can do this. Since we're we're still in tutorial mode here, this is a great time to test out audio. So let's try. 55. All right, we're right on 55 right now. How's that? Okay, so let's see if we can sneak past. It's gonna gonna give me a prompt on how to do that. Oh boy! <laughs> it, it it doesn't doesn't chase too much, does it? But uh, there's a hiding spot over here somewhere. X. There you go. So you, you hit X and that, that puts you in hide mode. Alright, so once in hide mode, you, you just kind of wiggle your way across here. And then you, you pop out of the shadows and it's all good. So, that's, that's over now. I might as well go through. Hmm. But, uh, but yeah, I hope, so I hope for everyone the audio is good now, I hope. Um, let, let us proceed. So, of course, just creepy, creepy girl staring at the wall, holding something. Let's, let's do it. Let's talk to her. Uh, hello. Are you okay? She, she's, she's not very talkative. Hmm. What's that you're holding? Well, I guess she was never there in the first place. I got some kind of pocket flashlight. Hey, just like the Silent Hills. Let's try switching it on. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, damn, my head. So it was it was all just a dream. Twas but a dream. And also, hey there, Donna. Uh. Got a pounding headache. Damn night terrors. No better than the days. Well, good morning, flashlight, old friend. It's time to face the outside world. All right, so here we go. We're we're in the actual video game now. Hmm. So we can use the bed to to go to sleep. Let's check the radio. Let's see if I can get anything. We, the survivors, praying for... In 203. That's all I could get. Hmm. I wonder if I should head for 203 first. Maybe there's someone alive in there. Alright, well, might, might be someone alive. And, uh, yeah, Donna, so this this game is retro-styled, but it did come out a few years ago. Um, I, I'd still call it retro just because it it's going for the retro aesthetic. So, both in in style of the visuals and in gameplay as well. So, so I'll give it the retro title. <laughs> Alright, let's read our diary. Yeah, read the diary. Let's have a look. Nothing exciting happened today. 
tried to eat an insect I caught, but it's no use. Since it's just me now, I have to get out there. I need to find a weapon, something long range. Those sons of bitches are too dangerous up close, and I don't want their nasty disease getting on me. Then maybe I can get me something to eat. Oh, I remembered where I put their key. It's on the sofa in the living room. I don't know where the key for their bedroom is, though. That's the latest entry. Hmm. Alright, let's look in the cupboard. There's something written on the door in faint chalk. Read it. Okay, let's see. Ah, it's my controls! So, X is interact or shoot, C is weapon mode, uh, and we already know how to walk and use, you know, the, the inventory. So, space is to open inventory. Good to know. So, that's, that's your controls for the game. And to save your game, use your bed. F toggles the flashlight, R is to quick reload, and M is... M or enter is map. Oh boy, there's a bunch of a bunch of controls here. Hmm. So we can we can even change the aspect ratio. I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> we, there's expert modes, P to pause, uh, hotkeys. We can ignite flares, place rotting meat, or drink health tonics. So many options. So let's see. So space is my inventory. Well, let's have a look at that. So, looks like no healing items. I have a flashlight with 100% uh, power. And that's it. So, I, I guess I want to turn my flashlight off. Like, uh, apparently the, the flashlight does have limited battery life, so... Hmm, fire escape. Ah. It's locked. I need a key to open it. Alright, well, nothing, nothing to be had there. So let's, oh man, this is, this is the most depressing apartment ever. Oh, a battery. And that, that sound is dangerously close to the Silent Hill item get sound. Dangerously close. I got the battery. Alright, so now it tells me how to open up my inventory. So I have, I have two batteries for my flashlight. Alright, look at code. I don't know whose it is. I I assume that we're just kind of crashing, like, I, I assume we just sort of found an apartment, because, you know, it's the apocalypse and all that, so I assume we just found an empty apartment and decided to live in it. That's what I'm going to assume. Let's look at the shoes. These aren't mine. Look at the dusty mirror. Uh, look deeply into it. I don't see anything special. Wait. It feels like it's trying to draw me to some other place, but it doesn't know where it wants that to be. Well, that's... that's ominous. Hmm. So there's a door, like, in front of us, and there's a door in the back. Perspective is a little weird sometimes, but let's get the front door key. There we go. Got the key. Alright, key to 206. So that's where I left it. Look in the fridge. Wait, what's that smell? Even with my mask on, it's making me dizzy. Uh, t take what's inside. Let's see what it is. I can hardly bear to touch this. It's piles of rotting meat. I'll take six pieces of meat for now. It's the most I can handle. Can I use the stove? My stove. Don't remember it happening, but it's run out of gas. I'll have to find some more. So, yeah, no, no, no crafting food for us. What's in the washing machine? Hmm. There's some kind of oh, there's a cat plush on here. All right, might as well take it. So I, I, I got a cat plush. Can I, can I do things with it? Um, talk to it. You're so special and precious. Nice. 
talking talking to your, your cat plushie is always an option. Ooh, piece of paper. I got some kind of diary page. Hmm. Well, let's have a look at it. Uh, let's read it. It reads, I can't trust any of them anymore. Any of those bastards could be diseased. There's only one way to survive this, and that's to put a bullet in every last one of their heads. We all know what I'm saying is the truth. Let's not try and deny it anymore. I'll be waiting with the survivors. There's a name at the bottom. Draco. I don't know the person who wrote this. I'm more interested in the other survivors. If there are any. Hmm. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it, it looks like it's a it's a propane stove, uh, Izul. It, it looks to be. And also, yeah, that that plushy like. <laughs> I wonder if it flips inside out. <laughs> anyway, let, let's uh, let's make sure we get everything in the apartment. Pretty important. All right, that one's locked. I can't get into it. But do we look at the painting? It's faded. Been there a long time, I guess. Mm. All right. Well, let's let's go outside. I used the key to 206. I'll get rid of it now. So yeah, once you use the item, you just toss it away. I should probably get some sleep before I go out there. Don't want to forget what I'm doing. Yeah, he he forgets what he's doing a lot. I I guess it's all that you know. Being the lone survivor, lots of being alone for too long. Oh, hey, what's this? Uh, a green pill. Hmm, I got some kind of green medicine. So, uh, take a look at it. It's some kind of drug, I think. So here's the thing. Uh, this game has a lot of different endings to it. And, uh, well, a, a lot of that depends on the the pills you take and like you know do, do you shoot the enemies or do you stealth past them do you take the drugs or do you do not take the drugs a lot of that depends um i'm just gonna play the game all right so let's use our bed i feel like i've had a past life and if i sleep i'll forget about it now eh, let's sleep anyway i think it's too late for that All right, we're sleeping. All right, day two. So, yeah, every time you save your game, time advances by one day. Also, I believe part of the ending. I feel a little better. That's good. Oh, man. Also, hey there, John. I, I forgot to say it, but I spotted a John in there. With the, with the shades on. <laughs> so, alright, let's, let's go outside our apartment. Time to face the day. Wing Court 2F South. Now, we, we had a map, right? Uh, that doesn't seem to do anything. Ah, because I, cause I don't have a map yet. I got the map of Wing Court 2F. Alright, let's take a look. So, M. It looks like there's something already marked on here. Let's take a look. Alright, now now here's here's the thing, right? <clears throat> so the thing is, the map is is 3D, right? Like the, the map of, of everything is 3D, but you're you're playing a two-dimensional game, so like how how does that work, right? Well, it's a little weird, so it's gonna take some time to get used to the perspective. All right, so we are the blue dot. Our bed is in yellow. Uh, let's see, special, question mark. So 203, that's where they said there were some survivors. The mirror is the pink, okay. Open doors are green, locked doors are red, and blocked is a squiggly red. Much like Silent Hill, how you know a squiggly line is, is blocked. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
That was, uh... That was Chie's place, wasn't it? I... Oh god. It... All the Chie's. Why would anyone mark it on here? I'll try and make my way there, anyway. Alright. Let's close our map. So... Oh, oh yeah. That letter that was pinned to the map. Hmm. Well, let's read it now. Might as well read the letter, then. Don't set off without a map. Even if you do know your way around. Things keep changing, you see. By the way, I think I have a way to get past those things. I worked out they're attracted to the stench of decay. When I'm having trouble getting past them, I leave some rotten meat down to one side of a hiding place. Then I can hide as they come towards me. It's best to avoid them, you see. There's no signature on it. Hmm. All right, well, we're, we're at 206, so uh, from where we're at, so perspective-wise, right? Like, perspective-wise, 206 is directly behind us. So, like, I guess... So we want to go right. I mean, right would be the quick way there, right? Like, let's, let's try that. If only they hadn't locked it when the outbreak started. Okay, so yeah, you can't go the quick way. Oh, hey, plant. It's too dark. Oh, yeah, I gotta turn my light on. I don't like to waste battery. Let's look at Chuck. How much Chuck would a Chuck Chuck? Hey, Chuck. Chuck makes me happy. Lord Chuck. What's going on, Chuck? So yeah, yeah, that's that's Chuck the potted plant. Alright, uh, let's see. I like to conserve my flashlight, you know, when I don't need to use it. Oh boy, there's one of them. So uh, I, I guess we want to use our meat, right? Hmm, he's not going to move, is he? Well, <clears throat> yeah, let's go ahead and let's use some rotting meat. I have six of it. <clears throat> Alright. And now we hide and then pop out and run. <clears throat> I'm, I'm feeling this plan here. Yes, I am. Alright, it worked. So now we're at apartment 205. Okay, so we're in 205 right now. Let's have a look around. Hmm, look at bed. There's monsters about. I don't think it's a good idea. Too dark. Okay, flashlight. They only make things... They only make things hear you coming. Ah, the shoes. So... So yeah, uh, our protagonist here, he doesn't, he doesn't, like, it's hard to tell, but he doesn't wear shoes. Because shoes, shoes only make people hear you coming. Let's look at the toilet. Disgusting. Bathtub? I don't even want to imagine how this happened. And there's a hole in the wall. Well. No, it's just my imagination. What the hell is that? Can, can, yeah, and enter the hole. <clears throat> Why would we not enter the hole? Okay, here goes nothing. So, uh, I, I wonder if I were to look at the map. Yeah, we're we're not even we're not even on the map right now. So I I, I think we're just in the nothing right now. So let's see where it goes. Hmm. No, no way but forward. It's a real long hallway. There's no way this is still in my apartment block. Wait, what's all this? Is my mind playing tricks on me? Oh god, oh god, time to run. <laughs> They're right behind me. 
So there's 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 just meat on the walls right now. Don't worry about it. Keep moving in slow motion. <laughs> Everything is slowing down. <laughs> Nice, nice effect. All right, I'm through. I thought it was never going to end. Hey, there's another mirror. It's just like the one in my apartment. Can't see straight. Hmm. Oh, hey, look, we got squid on a stick. I got the dried squid on a stick. Nice. Oh, hey, some prawn crackers. Mmm. I got the bag of prawn crackers. All right, well, let's... Let's take a look at this mirror here. This dusty mirror. Look deeply into it. I don't see anything special. Wait. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so... What just happened to me? Did I black out or something? I don't know how I got here, but I guess it's good to be home. So yeah, yeah, the mirrors are, they are teleporters. I'm tired, oh, okay, so so here's the thing. Um, this guy, he's gonna get hungry, he's gonna get tired, he's gonna get hurt, like, he, he has a status to keep track of, basically. Um, you, you can ignore his status, but it's not a good idea to. So, let's sleep. I'll have a snooze. Off you go, then. So, this, this game does have sort of a survival element to it. Kind of. I feel a little better. Alright. I'm hungry! Oh, see, look, now, now he's hungry. So, so, let's go into the inventory and let's see what we got. So, uh, I, I do have the squid on a stick. I got the crackers, too. Hmm, let's look at them. Crispy and tasty. These have survived well. What about the squid on a stick? Do these things really survive this long? Uh, let's, let's eat the squid on a stick first. I'm not so sure about this one. Ugh. Disgusting. Did fill me up though. And yeah, no, no, no eating rotting meat, Donna. No, can't do that. It's it's the apocalypse. There's no hospital to go to. But no, the the rotting meat is pure monster food. I I do believe. Like I I think you can. No, I, I think there's something you can do with it, but. I'm pretty sure it's a bad idea to eat the rotting meat. But the next time he gets hungry, I'll see if he I'll see if he's willing to eat it. The ne the next time. Yeah, chunks of decaying meat. Why am I carrying these around? <laughs> yeah, next time he gets hungry, we'll we'll see if he's desperate enough. I could use a bath, but Hmm. Yeah, I, like I said, I'll try to eat it when he's hungry again. Like when when he gets desperately hungry again, we'll we'll see. He, uh, he he's full though for right now. Okay, where where are we? All right, so we're still. Wow, we're still in apartment 205 even after that that long tunnel that we went down. It's jammed shut. Damn, I'm gonna have to creep past this one. If I can just get behind it, that is. There we go, look at that stealth action. <laughs> uh, the numbers have been removed, it's locked. Maybe I should try later. Now, one thing, one thing I don't like is that when you're examining things, time is still passing in real time. So you, 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 like, sometimes you have to really click through things because th there's no time. Made it. All right, we're at the fire exit. Look at stairs. Hmm. 
They're destroyed. There's no way I'm getting down there. I'll have to try the other side of the building. Ooh, piece of paper three. I got some kind of diary page. Well, let's have a look at it. Read. It reads, I only come out at night. That's simple common sense. They're more docile, and there's less of them about. I found if I pop them right in the head with my cold, they fall to the floor like sacks of skinny jelly. Other things I noticed is, once they get up in your grill, it's best to shoot them in the legs so they back off a bit. It's satisfying, too. The name at the bottom is Draco. Ah, oh, good, good old Draco. We, we've got a few notes from him. Also, I, I kind of forgot, but uh, I, I, I seize ya, Alpha Athlete. I, I kind of forgot, but I, I do. And... <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no. So here's the thing. Like, I totally thought it was a giant smile as well. Like, I, I remember thinking that the first time I played it. But uh, he's not smiling. He's wearing a face mask. Um, so that's that's the answer to that one. And also, man, I, I, I got the. <laughs> why did I get that reference to to Courage the Cowardly Dog? That was uh Freaky Fred the Barber, I think. That was that was an amazing musical episode. Anyway. Where are we now? Oh hey, we made it. We're we're at apartment 203. We're uh they they said there were survivors here. So let's check it out. It's Chie's place. Apartment 203. Well, it uh Huh. It it actually looks pretty nice in here. Like, uh, unlike the rest of this, um, apartment complex, this- this one looks kinda nice. I think it's the New York skyline. Hmm. Yeah, let's look at all their paintings. One of those black and white photos of a factory. So they're- they're hipsters. Good. Oh man, look, everything looks nice in here. So, looking at their bed, it's got a woman's touch. Hmm. Look at another bedside table. Just books and a few papers inside. Oh, hey, a doll. I got a weird old doll. <clears throat> so, let's see. We got... Yeah, d doesn't look too good. I can give it, though. Let's look at it. It's a dusty purple old thing. It gives me the creeps. I don't need anything from their bathroom. Okay, so we, we can't we can't just barge in their bathroom. Can we open the cupboard? I think there might be mothballs in there. I don't like them. Okay. I'm not going in their bedroom yet. <clears throat> Alright, so we can't just barge in on, on their private stuff, so so let's see. Are there are there survivors here? Why, yes, there are, and it looks like they're having a party. Hmm. <clears throat> well, let's... Let's have a chat. Let's talk to Chie. Er, hi. Did you bring her doll? I don't want to talk about that. Talk about what? Ellipses. Until you show me, you can even hold it. Let alone talk about it. I've got nothing else to say to you. <clears throat> hmm. Well, we do have a doll. We we did pick up a doll, so you know. Yeah, let's let's talk to Ben Benzido. Uh, that's not a common name. You think it's safe to party here? I feel pretty safe. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, they even got the wine and all that good stuff. There's... There's monsters out there! It's not safe! Forget it. I, uh... <laughs> well, my inclination is... There's monsters out there. It's it's not the time to be partying. So, yeah, yeah no, there's, there's monsters out there. That's what I'm going with. You must have seen them. 
the hideous creatures out there. Let's relax for a minute, shall we? I'm trying to save you. I'm quite safe, I assure you. <laughs> so, Benzito's having fun. Uh, let's see, don't I know you? How long have you been here? Forget it. I... Uh, d do I know him? I, I don't know. How long, how long have you been here? Uh, hmm. I think the most pressing question is how long have you been here? Because uh, presumably we've been living in this apartment complex for a while, so you, you would think you would have run into them if, if they've just been here partying during the apocalypse, you know. So let's ask that. So, how long has this been going on? I need to know what's going on. Talk to me, please. We really need to calm down here. It can't be doing you any good to worry yourself like this. So, so Benzito thinks we worry too much. Uh, what about Kenny? Why are you just sitting around at a time like this? Lovely party, isn't it? L lovely part what's your problem I so I'm, I'm basically gonna play him as just no look no one can relax it panic everybody panic monsters yeah what's wrong with you I'm having one hell of a time there's there's something the matter with you it's obvious I don't know how you held out this long would you like another drink you should try the juice. It's out of this world. Mm, mm. Like, every. No one is panicking nearly enough. So, yeah, I, I guess uh, Chie over here wanted to, you know, the doll, right? So, let's, let's give her the doll. Here you go, then. Thanks for that. I know it must have been hard for you. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't, huh? Well, I have what you asked for. Meet me outside when you're ready for it. I don't know what you're saying. But hey, why not? Alright, let's go outside. And a nice little party, but... Talk to Chie. Chie. It's okay. Just take it. What the hell are you talking about? The gun over there. So you realize I need the protection at least. I'm not one to judge. Hmm. Now let's let's look at the view. I can see devastation from miles around. What happened here? How did this disease begin to spread? It makes me sick. Alright, so let's get the handgun. I got the handgun. Now I feel a little safer. I guess. Wait, where'd she go? So, yeah, yeah Chie is just gone, but, um... Oh, so hungry! So hungry! Well, let me let me try aiming here. So, so we're in combat mode. So up, so we can aim up or down. All right, that's nice. That's nice. I'm gonna try and go for headshots if I can. Also, he's hungry, so let's let's see if he can eat the rotting meat. Hold on, eat. No. <laughs> yeah, he he, he doesn't want to eat that. So I guess let's eat the let's eat the prawn crackers. Mmm, crispy. All right, so we're we're all full. Also, hey there, Z. So yeah, let's go inside. Back to the party. Oh god. Damn. So it it looks like um that that looks to be Chie's corpse over there on the couch. I. I. And then the two, yeah, okay, I, I guess we were just freaking out, okay. Damn. 
I got no choice but to take him down. All right, so let's let's try going for headshots. Man, they take a lot of shots. Damn, what happened here? There was a party going on five minutes ago. I'm a bit worried I'm not in good shape. All right, well, let's, first off, how's uh, ammo? So, I have four rounds in the gun. Let's reload that. Okay. So, a gun can hold ten rounds. We have four to spare. Good to know. Yeah, Kenny and Benzito, they... <laughs> I guess they didn't do too good. So, let's look at all the bodies. What the hell just happened to me? So, so yeah, I, I can only presume that... Um, yeah, no, we're, we're just freaking out, and uh, we, we just imagined the nice, swanky party. <laughs> we we were just talking to a bunch of zombies in here, I guess. I don't know what just happened in there. Don't really want to think too deeply on it. I need to find a way out of these apartments, if I can make it to the other fire exit. Alright, so that's our goal. It's still a fair way to the stairs. I guess I'll just have to look around the area, see what I can find. All right. I sure could, I could sure use some sleep first though. Exhausted. Hmm. Well, let's turn our light on. Oh look, I'll put some new batteries in it. Okay. Ooh, beef jerky. So yeah, the uh, the apartment doesn't look nearly as nice as it did five minutes ago. Which is the real version? Hmm. Look at the fallen picture. What happened here? So yeah, let's look around the apartment. The real version of the apartment. Or, or was the other version the real version? And and we're just tripping balls running around yeah, shooting random people. Ooh, they look like monsters to you. Uh, yeah, mm. Okay, let's look at the table. Is there a hole behind there? Let's try pushing it. Ooh, nice. Is there anything else in this room? Hmm. Uh, let's go back here. I might be able to squeeze through. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> So yeah, I guess have the gun ready. Oh, wait, wasted a shot. Hmm. Oh, always a shame to waste a shot. And I guess I could just reload. There we go. Look in the cupboard. Another goddamn hole. Well, I'll be damned. Lock's broken, can't open it. I can see a letterbox, though, which is odd. Hmm. Well, let's let's fully explore this area, though. Alright? And, and yeah, I guess let's turn the flashlight off. But he's, he's getting real exhausted. He's, he's getting really exhausted. Ah, uh, there's the mirror. Oh, hey. I need some food. Man, he's hungry. He's sleepy. Oh, God. So, yeah, let's take that. Take a look at the map. Okay, so... Yeah, 206. Oh, yeah. It's the apartment I'm staying in. Why don't I remember that? <laughs> anyway, I can probably get back via the mirror. So let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Look deeply. I could use a bath, but... So yeah, the uh, let me look. How's my batteries holding up? Okay, see, yeah. Look, our flashlight is already down to 55% battery. The the flashlight really, really dies fast. I need some rest. O okay, it, he needs sleep. But but wait, before we get to sleep, um, there's a room we couldn't get into before. Yeah, here we go. Look at bed. I don't want to sleep in that one. I need some food. 
Got some handgun ammo, that's nice. Nothing of mine in there. Hmm. Ooh, box of pills, nice. I got a box of pills. Oh, they have instructions at least. Nice. Uh, let's read the instructions. Might as well read the instructions. The red ones will make you sharper. The others will make you duller. Being dull can help you sleep, especially if you've run out of what you need. Just remember to weigh up the costs. And if you need more, I'll leave some for you in the bathroom. By the way, you might find what you're looking for in 205. I've been there recently, and it's changed again. It's not signed at the bottom. Mm. <clears throat> so, okay, the the red pills make us sharper, and the I guess the blue slash green ones they they make you sleep better. Alright, so I guess you pop one of those before you go to bed. Alright, 205. That's next door. I'll mark it down. Could be important. Alright. So, what's in this door over here? Uh, can't really see too much. There's a few- oh, there's a few pills out on the top. Nice. Might as well pick them up. Mmm, pills. Hold on. Starving. I got some kind of diary page. Good bath. It's been a while since it was full. Let's turn that off. Okay, he's he's starving at this point, so uh, maybe let's eat something. Uh, let's eat the beef jerky. Eat. It's not my favorite, but it works. Well, that's beef jerky. Salty but solid. I feel pretty beat. So yeah, he, he wants sleep. Ooh, a tin of pickles. Nice, hold on. I wanna, I wanna get, mm, get them pickles. All right, anything in the cupboard? No way I'm opening it. The stuff inside is not mine. Let's look at that leak. I don't know where it's coming from, but that's water all right. So, Roof's leaky. No, I, I oh I should I shoulda, but I I don't I'm I'm pretty sure he will not eat the rotting meat. So he wants to go to sleep pretty bad. Now now here's the thing, right? Pills. We we've got pills. So uh we have three green pills and three blue pills. I don't know, which one do you guys want? Uh red red makes us sharper. We don't want that. So uh red or green or uh, blue or green, which what, what pill do you want before bedtime? Hmm. I, I mean, like, is there any... Let me see. Is there any difference between the two? Some kind of drug, I think. Oh, okay. He, he does... He doesn't know. He does not know. So, oh. Cookie's got it first. Mmm. Green pill. Swallow. Well, I don't know what that did to me. I feel a little drowsy, though. I guess I'll find out. Need sleep. Okay, yeah, let's go to sleep. I'll have a snooze. And uh, I, yeah, I saw in input was first too, but I, I saw the cookies. I saw the cookies first. Input scrolled up a little too much for me. Ooh, what's all this now? The man who wears a box. Why are you wearing a box? That's a very good question. I'll leave that for you to figure out. Okay. Great. So that that's yeah, we see box head when we uh, when we take the green pill. Hmm. I needed that. So well, I I, I took the green pill like that do anything for me like what 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 does green pill do for me exactly well, let's look at the cupboard uh, no we already read that hmm, maybe later a anything new with the radio let's see if I can get anything the northwest wall of the floor below I'm waiting 
There has to be a useful message here somewhere. And yeah, I wonder, like, what... I wonder if I can take multiple pills. Hmm. Now, uh, like, the, the message did say that y you can always... You know, you could, you could find more pills... by the bathroom, I think? Like, I don't know, let's take a look. Are there more pills in the sink now? Yeah, look, there's a few pills out on the top. Nice. So I, I guess, I, I guess pills just spawn in in the sink. Hmm. All right, let's let's go back to where we were. Look deeply. Eh, I've seen worse. Now, wait a second, there was something in apartment 205, wasn't there? But there there was that hole in the wall. I, I, I really want to look in, like, I, I really want to explore further in, in this apartment. So, what's in the hole? Yeah, where's this one going to take me? Hey, there's more of those meat chunks in here. That's nice. I guess I can stock up on meat chunks. They may still come in handy. And there's just skin on the wall pulsating. What the? What the hell is this thing? It looks like it's covering another hole. I guess I need something to get through. Maybe if I search back closer to home. Ah. I'll mark this place on the map for now. Yeah, ju just good old wall skin. Hmm. What's this? Ooh, got some beans. Nothing special about the armchair. All right. Yeah, I guess we should make very tactical, strategic use of the uh, of the flashlight. Mm. So yeah, I guess I, I need to find something closer to home. So that's a that's a gameplay hint right there. Hmm. Okay, so we teleport back home, <clears throat> and then let's go to apartment 205. <laughs> Alright, so, so 205 would just be like, well, let's look at the map. That'd be right next to us, right? Yeah, that, that'd be right next to us. Oh boy, I, you know, I could shoot him in the head now, couldn't I? But, but... I could also just use meat. So the thing is, there, I, I do believe that, like, how many monsters you shoot, if you shoot the monsters, I'm, I'm pretty sure that influences the ending. But uh, I, I like shooting me some monsters, so. Alright, yeah. I, I guess we're gonna have to, right, right in the head. There we go. Huh, what, what's this? It says, no other solution. I wonder who wrote it. And why, more to the point. Well, I'll take the scissors. I got some nasty looking scissors. Those could chop someone's head off. <laughs> we'll go with that. Let's look at the couch. Just a battered old couch. I'm hungry. So he's he's getting hungry already. Oh, the stove. I think it may be out of gas. So, m man, all these gas-powered stoves. Hmm. Okay, so wait. I, I think we've already been in most of these rooms. Oh, it's totally dark. Oh, okay, okay, I, I know where I am. Man, he's exhausted already. He, he's, he's always, always getting exhausted. Oh, uh, where, where am I? Oh, 
Okay. Don't want to be here. So if I go over here. Huh. Well, I... Okay. Hmm. Wait, wait. How do I get back to where I came from? Like, I, I came from over here, right? Oh, there's an item. There's an item. There's actually multiple items. I want them. I'm, mm, I'm going for it. Here we go. Okay. So, three, three shots to the head. Three shots to the head. That's what it takes. Oh, mm. Accidental waste of bullet. Okay, look at table. There's something on it. I got a can opener. Finally, I can open some cans. Now, okay, so he, see, here's the thing, right? If you didn't have a can opener, like all those nice, you know, cans of beans and stuff like that that you were picking up, like, you couldn't open them. It, like, you, you could have, like, a ton of canned food, but no way to actually open the cans. I, I guess he's never heard of, like, using a knife or anything sharp. You know, you, you have to specifically have a can opener. Ooh, delicious ham inside. Can it st can it be it's still fresh? I could almost cry. I've dreamed about this for months. Alright, let's get the rice pudding. Yep, can of rice pudding. Alright. Get out of here. Man, he's like he's just so excited. Like, oh god, ham. It's the little things that make life worth living. All right, he's he's not gonna let me get past. Oh, I, I'm still unsure as to how exactly damage works in this, but uh, I'm not dying yet. So by killing that guy, yeah, now I can just go right back to my apartment, home again. All right. So he, he is getting rather exhausted. He, he wants rest already. So, uh, I don't know. Let's let's try the blue pill. We, we keep finding all these fun pills. So, uh, yeah, let's swallow the blue one. Well, I don't know what that did to me. I feel a little drowsy, though. Guess I'll find out. I could use something to eat, but... sleep now. I'll have a snooze. So what's the blue pill do? So, I suppose I meant to speak to you. We are sat next to each other, but you don't feel like talking now. That's true. A man needs to have protection. You know that. Hmm, they, they gave me an item. Day five. Didn't do much good. So they, they gave me an item. Uh, let me let me check what, what, what did the game give me. Ammo. I, I have more ammo now than I did before. So so I guess if you take the blue pill, you the, the game just gives you ammo if you take the blue pill. And from what we've seen, the game just infinitely gives you blue pills. The game also infinitely gives you green pills as well, and you can just take them as you want to take them. I'm guessing the green pill gives you... So I'm guessing blue is ammo, green is food, I'm guessing. So you, you can't run out of ammo or food. However, I, I know for a fact that this affects the ending. Like, it... Like, if you're just popping pills like crazy, yeah, you're not getting no good ending. <laughs> so, I, I guess let, let's try not to do that again. You know, let, let's try. So, alright, got can opener, scissors. Mm. Now, he is hungry. But let's see how long we can put that off. So, we got the scissors. That will allow us to get into the, uh, the whole room. Need to eat. Oh, okay, okay. Let's. 
Well, I wonder, like, he's, he's getting to, like, must eat now. I'm, I'm pretty sure he will never eat the rotting meat. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no. Okay. So let's, uh, let's see. Let's can uh, rice pudding. Oh, you can cook it. Like, look, you can totally cook this food, too. Um, tin of pickles. Uh, let's come. Oh, can we just eat it? <sighs> salty and sour. Delicious. Uh, okay, so he likes salty and sour things. Good to know. All right, let's look deep into the mirror. I could use a bath, but... Uh, okay, see, he really wants a bath. It might be a red herring. Hmm. So, we need to... Need to use scissors. I'm, I'm guessing use the scissors to cut through the skin wall. I'm... I'm guessing. It's good the enemies stay dead. Alright, so let's look at the skin. Need something that can get through. And I just happen to have something. I've got scissors. Cut. Oh man, do I really have to go through with this? Well, here goes. Ooh, all, all bloody. Well, now I feel a bit unwell. Hmm, now let's, let's go through the skin hole. Oh, zombie. Oh, gotta reload. Here we go. Hey, look, look, I took my blue pill, so, you know, uh, I'm using that ammo. Oh, hey, look, an extra battery for the flashlight. Hmm. What's all this rubble? It's like there was a war here, or an earthquake. Hmm. Oh, hey, we can just go outside. Uh, I don't want to do that just yet. Let's check this. I can't open it. Must be broken. So, hmm. So that's, okay, outside is the only way we can go. There better be no more monsters in there. there. Sure hope there's no monsters in here. Let me, let me just get my gun button ready. Oh, no, I, I, I totally thought they were going to just give me a room full of monsters, but that game surprised me. Can of soda. Hmm. B better be a poca cola All right, instant coffee. I got the instant coffee powder. I, I'm guessing that just keeps me awake. So I, I'm guessing I just brew up some coffee and that keeps me going. All right, another... Oh, wait, wait. Turn that flashlight off. Ooh, let me out of here. Who said that? A girl's voice. It sounded like it was coming from that far wall. Ooh, handgun ammo. Well, uh, before we do that... Nope, nope, don't think I want to go outside. Oh, oh, oh god. Too easy to get hurt. Okay, more handgun ammo. And a bottle of milk. Hope it's hope it's long life. Yeah, no, I don't I don't think that uh, I don't think that milk's any good anymore. I, I'm I'm pretty sure no. Hmm. I don't know what this is for. Whatever it is, it doesn't look nice. Just just a cross on wall? Hmm. Okay, well, there was a girl's voice coming from over here. There, oh, he's exhausted already. Should we? Mm, let's let's go back. Let's let's go back to the bedroom. I can live with what I see. Well, that's nice. So uh, I I guess we don't we don't want to just you know indiscriminately pop pills before going to bed all the time. Um, let's just sleep. I'll have a snooze. I, I guess here's how we'll try to do it um, because you know how many pills you take influences your ending let's only take pills if we absolutely have to alright didn't do much good 
So if I run out of food, pop some green pills. If we run out of ammo, then blue pills. But otherwise, l let's let's play safe. Need to eat something. Oh, okay, he's he's hungry already. So let's pop that inventory up. Uh, man, bottle of milk doesn't seem like a good idea, but let's hold on to it because we can combine it. Hmm, there is the delicious ham. I have ten instant coffee, and there is the soda. But let's use some of our food. Uh, let's, let's eat the rice pudding. I'll eat it then. Still good. Very good, in fact. And filling. Nice. Alright, let's look deeply into it. Get, just jump through that mirror. Alright, so there, there was girl's voice from the end of the hallway. I don't see- oh, oh, hey, uh... Well, time to get a spook, I think. Let's, um... Let's talk. Hello? How did you get in here? Are you okay? How can I get you out? Who did this to you anyway? Why did you come here? I never wanted you to find me. Not like this. What do you mean? I've never been here before. Who are you anyway? Yeah, that's right. I'm no one. So, leave me alone. Oh, there, a monster all along. No! Just get your Darth Vader no in there. What's, what's wrong with me? Oh. Well, that happened. Hey, what's this? Hmm. Uh, there's, there's a business card on the floor. I, I guess I'll just never mind about my freak out. I wonder what's uh, what that's doing here. Uh, let's read it. Let's see. The director. Acquisitions, etc. Frequency 102.5. I guess that's a radio frequency. I'll check it out next time I use the radio. Well, that's a good idea. All right, so th that was all we could do there. Uh, what, what else have we got to look at on the map? So, all right, we're 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 trying to get over to the staircase, to the eastern staircase. That's, that's where we need to be. But uh, no, no luck so far. Hmm. But maybe, maybe if we... Like, if I leave this room and just head east, we, we should be there. I'm going for it. Uh, I don't, I don't really need to shoot that one, so... So my place is just through that other door. I should probably get some rest while I'm, the, while I'm here. I, I hear squishing, too, so... I've unlocked it! At last! Now I can get back home a lot easier. Nice. Home again. So yeah, let's check that radio frequency out. You know, while we're while we're in the neighborhood. So uh, yeah, let's look at the radio. Let's see if I can get anything. 102.5, the director. All right, I'll check out the director frequency. I got something special in store for you today. Inquire Within, Apartment 204. That's the end of the message. I guess I could go and check it out. Hmm. Alright, so, Apartment 204. 204 is at the end of the hallway. Pretty sure that door was locked before. M maybe it's not locked now? Hmm. Let's go to sleep first. We're, we're always, we're always just so darn tired. 
Yeah, I'll have a nice snooze. We, we, you're just so, so very darn tired. If, you know, maybe I just need a few more pills. Hmm. I needed that. Okay. Let's, let's go to 204. Oh, so, so hungry. Hold on. I need, yeah, I need, I need to eat another whole can of pickles. Um, what, what have I got on me? I, oh man. I, I've got the delicious ham, but I was, I, I was saving that for a special occasion. Well, let's go with the tin of beans for right now. I'd, I'd like to cook it, but uh, we, we don't have any gas for our stove. So, raw beans it is. Not bad cold, actually. Well, that's nice. So, alright, 204. That's where we need to be. Pretty sure I've killed just about everything in the way, too. Alright, if we... Let's look at our map. If we go through 205... Yeah, if we just go right through 205, that'll put us... Wait, yeah, hold on. Hold on, let me check. Yeah, that'll put us out right next to 204. So, we go in there. Pop out here. There we go. Oh! Hmm. Can I sneak by you, or are we gonna have to do it? Ah, there we go. So, just very carefully, stealthily. There we go. Strange. Someone's unlocked it. Huh. Let's look at the drawings. I wonder who put these here. I wonder who she is. Is it supposed to be the same girl? Hmm. Good questions, none of which will be answered for, for, uh, for quite a while. Ooh, I, it, it's the gas we need. I got some kind of gas tank. Maybe I can use this in my apartment. Oh, I could, I could have cooked those beans. May even have some food I can cook. Hmm. Let's put the chalk markings. The whole room's covered with chalk pictures. A girl with wings, hearts, and clouds. Okay. Oh boy, wait, 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 where are we on the map? Uh, this long hallway. Well, d man in trench coat. I can deal with that. Wait, wait a second. The, there's a box that looks like the same box that Boxhead wears. Hmm. Let's talk to the director. You're human. Man, am I pleased to see you. What's your name, friend? Some call me the director. I couldn't tell you why. How did you survive in here? There's nothing even in this apartment. I have my ways and means. Doesn't really answer the question. <laughs> also, hey there, Soto. May even be able to help some. Hmm. But I'd take a little time to think on how I survived first. What do you mean? Exactly. Huh. And and yeah, Soto, this this is indeed part of some sort of you know, October month, if you will. <laughs> so, does the director have anything else to say? I give up. You're telling me you're some kind of survival expert? For all I know, you're not even real. You got a lot of nerve, you know. Hold on a minute. I've been seeing all kinds of things. I don't know if it's the disease that's doing that. I'm only alive because I hold up in my apartment. How about you, huh? I have no idea how you survived. Well, I could be... I could be part of your furtive imagination. I couldn't rightly say, but I reckon I'm here all right. Sure, sure as the night is long. But as far as survival goes, folks used to say it's all about keeping your brain in shape. I'm still learning myself. 
You'll learn too, in time. Yes, sir. So, uh, we, we may or may not just be talking to a wall right now. Anyway, listen here. I like to forage for things. It got some I don't have much use for. Hmm. You can have this saucepan. And I may have more good stuff for you later. So keep your ears on the radio, kid, if you catch my meaning. Nice. It's good to eat snacks between meals, also. So here's something to sustain yourself. Nice! Some some sliced cheese and crackers. Oh boy, I can I can make little little tiny cracker sandwiches. Oh yeah, that's that's just what I need in the apocalypse. Thanks. I used to live on these. See you later. Here's looking at you, kid. So that that was the director. He may or may not be a figment of our imagination, but uh, it, it, it is what it is. Hmm. Did we look in everything? Did we look over here? Yeah, we did. Okay, let's let's get out of here. And and yeah, I know, right? There's lots of survival elements aka eating and you gotta eat and drink and and sleep I, you know this game really didn't need those survival elements but they do add a little I, I feel like they add a little something to the gameplay just a little something okay well that that was a nice little encounter um, let's let, let's let's sleep in our bed Always a good idea to stop by the bed. <laughs> yeah, might secretly be Humphrey Bogart. In indeed, good job. Mm. All right, so I I think we can attempt to leave the apartment complex now. So let's let's try and get out. Oh oh no, I'm hungry again. But but wait a second, wait a second. Hold on. We've got we, we've got the propane tank. So. Uh, where's, where's our kitchen again? Here's our kitchen. So, uh, I have the propane tank, the gas tank, use it. Okay, I swapped the old one out. Now I can cook stuff. That's just about the best news in... No, it's the best news ever. So hungry. O okay, so what do we got to work with here? Well, I have cheese crackers and sliced cheese. I I can combine the two together and and, and do you know get a little something going on. But I think I wanna I wanna treat him to some delicious ham. So let's cook it. I'd love to, but I'm going to need a cooking pot for that. Oh no, but I but what about I have I have a saucepan. I'll use it when I need to Oh, so I, I need a skillet. I, I need a skillet to cook it in. D darn, I... Like, come on, you can totally cook meat in a saucepan. It, it's a little awkward, but it works, you know? Don't don't, don't be picky now. It's the it's the zombie apocalypse, all right? So I guess we can't eat that. Oh, I, I guess I could eat it raw, right? But I, I'd rather cook it. Hmm. So I guess let's try combining the... Slice cheese with cheese crackers. So combine that with cheese crackers plus sliced cheese. Oh wait, could I could I like combine the cheese crackers with sliced cheese with the ham and make like the the ultimate little cracker sandwich? Oh goodness. Okay, let's see what happens. It takes so long to assemble these things. Let's see, so what do I got? I've got cheese and crackers. Better than either on its own. So, yeah, let's eat them. One step up from sprayed cheese, I guess. Well, well what can you do, right? What, what can you do?
All right, so let's see if we can get out of this apartment complex. All right. Ooh, some prawn crackers. Mm. Which is shrimp for those that don't know. So, okay, we can go left or right. Let's start with the right. Uh, I hear lots of sounds. So yeah, floor one ain't doing so good. Uh, let's make sure we have plenty of ammo. Oh, God. oh, they can go on the ceiling. Mm. Nice. I didn't know they could do that. <laughs> okay, so they got they got some tricks. All right, they they got tricks. Also, um, it, it looks like the first floor of the apartment complex is just made out of meat. Oh boy, that one that one's just coming right. Oh, they're they're just coming right at me. Um, oh god, oh god. No, what why why am I facing that way? Face this way. Combat. All right, got them all. Whew. So, hmm, how much ammo do I have? How much bullets? I, I need I need to keep track of my bullets. Okay, I have 16, 16 shots still. Uh, turn that flashlight on. Okay, let's have a look around. Apartment 103. Uh, wh what am I looking at? Hanging meat. They seem to have fossilized. I guess that's why those things aren't after them. Hmm. Oh, hey, a bucket. We can we can collect water now. Nice. So, uh, yeah, again, the, the whole first floor here is just nothing but meat. Uh, let me look at the map. I have no map for this area. Uh, that's not good. Apartment 101. I'm losing it here. It's too dark. I, uh, oh, I, my, my flashlight ran out. That's what happened. They seem to be talking about a victim of an accident. Apparently, the unnamed victim died in a bomb blast. The victim was a civilian in some war. No idea which war it's talking about. Wars are long since over. Now it's just survival. Alright. Oh, here we go. Uh, is that a hole? Need some rest. What do you mean, need some rest? Uh Instant coffee! I guess for certain things you have to have your flashlight on in order to interact with them. So I got dried squid. The lock is broken. But we're we're just in a back alleyway now. Like we're we're outside. I've always hated the the alley round back. Since before I can remember. I don't really want to go down here. Well, I wanna go down here. Uh-oh. My flashlight's gone wrong! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, what's going on here? I I <laughs> am I dead? <laughs> hmm. Also, good good night, Donna. Good night. <laughs> oh, hey. Where did you come from? <clears throat> he looks a little bit strange. He looks like he has like one extra pixel on his neck. White-faced man. Did I appear from nowhere? I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't know what you're saying, and I don't really like it either. I don't have much to say to you. Until we meet for the third time. Goodbye. Huh. Who is that guy? What was that all about? Well, he did leave some he did leave some soda for me, so he can't be all bad. Oh, oh, look, it's empty. But there's something rattling in it. I got the fire door key. 
Nice. Let's turn that flashlight on. Gotta, gotta conserve. Mm. So, oh, I can't go on much longer. Okay, he wants he wants to go to bed. He wants some sleep. So let's let's get back to the apartment. All right. So yeah, let's. Do we want to pop a pill? Like, oh, he he wants something to eat. He wants food. So, if I got, well, first off, before I go to bed, let's let's see if we can do something with that water. You know, the bucket, right? So let's see. Ah, here's the water. So if I were to need something to eat, so if I were to put the bucket down here. That should catch the leak. I'll come back when it's full. All right, so uh, yeah. I, I guess we just leave it sitting and and we'll have some good viable water. Hmm, my stomach's growling. Oh, oh goodness, he, he's just hungry all the, all the time. So let's eat the prawn crackers. Hmm, crispy. All right, so you eat and go to bed. I love a snooze. Man, yeah, the, the, the intense survival aspect of the game. Mm. I feel a little better. He always feels a little better. Unless I make him take pills. Oh, no, his, stomach, his stomach is still growling. How much food does he need? Let, let's eat the squid on a stick. <laughs> Not so sure about this one. Disgusting. But filling. Uh, let's check the radio. Uh, let's see if the uh, let's see if the director has anything. I don't got nothing special. Okay, so he he doesn't have anything good now. Uh, let's see if there's anything on all the frequencies. I'll do a sweep across the frequencies. Met you once. That dark corridor. Come find us. Can't be hearing that right. Hmm. Alright, well, let's let's teleport back to where we were. I'm holding it together. I Are you really? I, I don't I don't think so with how many uh freakouts we've had so far. Hmm. Pop that light on. I need Oh hey look the fire door key. Well, let's let's go outside. So I I guess we can just leave now. Hmm. You know what? Let's just go down the stairs. I I think we can just leave the the area now. I'm not going in the basement without a good reason. The front door is on this floor. I'll see if I can make it out that way first. Okay. Ooh, handgun ammo. So, yeah, I, I guess... He, I, you know what? I I can get behind his logic. Like, it's like, dude, no, look, I'm not going in the basement unless I have to. I, I can understand it. So, let's get ready to do some shoot combat here. That's, uh... Lock is broken. Hmm. Well, he's not coming this way. I'm not getting any closer to that thing. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's a big one. Damn, what was that thing? It can't have been a person like the other ones. It's like the monsters. It's like... Damn! Yeah, he's not even going to, uh, not even gonna theorize about it. Okay, here we go. Nope. Got, gotta go for the headshots. Oop. Unless they're just on the ceiling. Okay. I, pr 
probably waste am wasted some ammo there, but uh, eh, I got I got 15 shots still. Ooh, fruit salad. Nice. Turn that light off. There we go. Damn, there's something big behind this door. Something I've not seen before. I can't go through this way. Yeah, no, there's just... It's just full of meat. Pulsating, gyrating meat. Don't worry about it. But here's the map. A map of Wingcourt 1F. Hmm. Alright. Strange, the back alley is marked on it. The front door is just around the corner from here, though. Well, I, I already went down the alleyway. I, uh... I already went down the alleyway, so, like, I... I I, I already know what's in there. Hmm. You know, the, the fire door. Ooh, some more milk. Uh, maybe I, I don't know, maybe I can combine it with the coffee? Ground espresso. So yeah, I'm guessing I could maybe... I, I guess I could make some coffee and that would keep me awake, I'm guessing? Hmm. Alright, so that just takes me back around. Huh, thought I, uh, thought I killed everything in here. Or is this a different hallway? I'm willing to believe that. There we go. And reload. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure the monsters don't respawn. But this does appear to be the same hallway. Th there, there could have just been one that I missed. Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! I'm down. So I get, I, I guess that's how the health works. Mm. Game over. Hey, my first game over. First proper game over. I was kind of curious, like, okay, how, you know, I, I don't remember how the health worked. So let's continue. I think the only thing I missed out on is, uh, I, I need to, I need to get the map. I have to get the map to the first floor. That's, I'm pretty sure that's the only thing I missed. So, all right, let's, let's hop back out of here. Okay. Yeah, see, the fire door key takes us out here. And we ain't going in, yeah, we, we are not going, not going into the basement. All right, lock broken. Huh. Well, it didn't do that last time. Like, last time I went in here, it it didn't just run at me and kill me. <laughs> I It's the flashlight. It's it's the flashlight. You, you really can't leave that thing on. The, I, I think the game is basically trying to hammer into me that, no, you don't want the flashlight. You, you want to keep that thing off unless you absolutely need it. Which is a very fair... You know what? That's a fair point. That's that's a mighty fair point. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we call a hard lesson learned. So, yeah, fire door key. Alright, no reason to hit the basement. So, I guess keep that light off. Keep it off, and let's just... Let's see what we can do. Okay, there's a hiding spot. Good thing I turned that gamma up. Hmm. Okay, yeah, you don't don't get any closer. There's a call. Wait a second. There's a call button. It's out of action. It might work if the emergency generator was running. <laughs> well, I don't have a map. I need to find a map of the area. 
Okay. I'm just keeping my light off, and I'm just, just keeping that light off, being careful. See, just just use it when you need it. So we do need to find a map. Here we go. All right, got us a map, and it has some things already on it. But we're gonna have to go down. I'm guessing now is when we need to go down into the generator room. I'm guessing. So that huge creature in the lobby, maybe I can get it into the elevator, huh? If I can get that working again somehow. I know it goes down to the basement anyway. Well, here goes. Alright, got me a battery. And and also, I I forgot to pick up the ammo. <laughs> there we go. I, I have a feeling I'm going to need it. So here we are down in the basement need to eat some man, man, look I know it zombie survival but but no first I need to you know to take a little break here have have me some squid on a stick Ugh. okay so yeah I'm gonna have to use it it's sealed shut by those veins okay this one is not sealed shut turn the light off let's let's not anger them I can't see anything. Like, I I can't see anything, so I'm hoping I don't just run into the big monster. Uh, uh. Oh, there's a lot of them. There's a whole bunch. Uh, I, I think I can do it. I, no, no, I don't think I can. I don't think I can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's blocked on the other side. Oh, no. oh, oh god. Oh god. Tur turn the light off. Uh, ready that... Hold on. He, he's auto he's auto aiming at something that's further away. I think I'm gonna drop dead. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna drop dead. An electricity symbol. Looks like it's a direction to the emergency generator. I need a map of the area to mark it down. I have no map of the area, do I? Well, there's a, a distress flare. What will happen if I use it on a monster? I, I wonder indeed. Uh, I wonder if healing, like if I eat something, will that heal me? I really don't know if eating uh, heals my health. I can see nothing. I, I can't see straight. But I got the map. Oh boy, this place is kind of a mess. There's a room already marked here too. No idea why though. Hmm. I, I really need to heal. I'm dead. I'm dead. Suddenly the game gets a lot harder, huh? Y you know, when you go down into the basement, suddenly things get difficult. <laughs> okay. So once you go down in the basement, it's just darkness all the time and tons of monsters. So things are getting challenging. We we cannot just run in guns a blazing like we were doing. We we need to actually, you know, use use some patience and some some strategy. I'm thinking if there's a hiding spot, we can we can put some meat down and get past them or the game is giving me flares now, which is another thing I can I I can try to use to my advantage. Yeah, the, the gun is not always the answer. 
Hmm. And, and yeah, the, the water, well, I, I'm assuming I'm not going to be using it for a bath. I assume the water is for cooking things. Because, you know, coffee and all that. But he's getting hungry, so we gotta... Yep, yeah, squid on stick. <sighs> Alright, so... Mm, when we get down in the basement... At, at least now I know how to trigger the basement. I, I, I wasn't too sure how to even trigger that before. So yeah, you do the call button. I don't have a map for the area. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. You don't. You don't need a map. No. No map needed. So yeah, now we have to go down into the basement. Okay. So the the rotting meat. Probably, like, okay, is there a hiding spot? I can't see in the dark. Hmm, an electricity symbol points to the emergency generator. I'll need a map to mark it down, so I don't, I don't have a map to even mark that down yet. Oh, hey, look, there's, there's a, hmm. Well, you know what? There's a mirror right here, so I'll use that. And I have to say, I think I'm gonna need more ammo. I I have a feeling I'm gonna need more ammo. I How much do I have? So I have 10 rounds. I, well, I do have 20. So I do have 26 shots, and it takes three shots to kill them if you land every single one of them. So, okay, maybe I'm okay. Maybe I don't need more ammo just yet. But I have a feeling I will. So, now that we've gotten, you know, we've slept and we don't have to, we don't have to get to the basement anymore. We're already in there. Let's check on that water. Uh, no, that's, that's the cooking stuff. All right. I can't carry the bucket, now it's full. I need something small. I need something smaller to hold the water. Oh god, come on. Come on, man. Like it Can you can you really not can you really not carry a bucket of water? Come come on now. Well, I, I do have a saucepan. I wanna keep the saucepan for cooking. I he's being difficult. I guess I, you know what? I guess he just can't carry a full a, a full bucket of water. Uh, well, let's let's go back into the mirror. It, it's just far too big, far too big. All right, I'm ready to shoot things if I got him. Oh, oh, hold on. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Takes, uh... It, it's taking me four shots on these guys. Because, yeah, when they, when they jump up on the ceiling... Hold on, turn that, turn that light off. Yeah, when they jump up on the ceiling, things get rough. Rusted shut. That's good. So is, is this where I now? Is there a hiding spot that I no? There's there's no hiding spot whatsoever. So I think I think we're gonna have to shoot him. We we gone have to shoot him. All right, one down. I'm pretty sure this is the pretty sure this is the hallway that has a ton of them. No, I guess it's the next one. Okay, I, I came out of here. It's locked, I need a key. Can't go any further. Oh, it's just a bottomless pit. Gotcha. Oh, oh goodness. So there's, there's just bottomless pits everywhere. Mm. 
All right, so we we cannot go that way. That's disappointment. Okay, it's locked from the other side. I could really go for a map. Really go for a map, and and yeah, I'm totally gonna run around in the darkness. All right, I'm I'm totally running around in the darkness as much as I can. Know something's gonna. Here we go. I think one more hit and I'm dead. I, uh, I think I'm dead in one more hit, but I can't be sure. writhing thing. Holy! Did the monsters do this? Is there someone inside this thing? Don't really want to stick around long enough to find out. Yeah, don't, don't think about it too hard. I still have no map whatsoever. I, I could really... Oh god. Flashlight died again. We got some ground exp espresso. Uh, did I come through there or? Okay, I came through this hole right here. I, I have no idea where I am. I, I do believe I'm lost, and and he's hungry. I'm I'm lost and hungry and scared and confused. But I got a bottle of milk, so it's all good. Let's let's go back to our apartment. I could use the red. Oh, the red pill. Yeah, let me guess. That's that'll keep me. I, I guess I get sleepy when. I, I guess I get sleepy when I get damaged, huh? Well, that makes sense. Uh, but I mean, the bed's right here, so we might as well. I, we, we don't want to use too many pills, remember. Like, too, too many pills. Also, let's let's eat before we uh, eat before we go to bed. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure too many pills... You know, <laughs> let's not go for an overdose ending. How about that? Okay, now let's sleep. Also, you know, it's just nice, because sleeping, well, that's that's saving the game, too. And the way I keep dying in the basement, I think I need to save my game every chance I get. Compulsively, you might even say. Alright, so I have no map of the basement. I'm just kind of wandering around blind, half the time literally. I'm... I'm just walking around in the dark now because I need to save my flashlight batteries. Okay. Well, I needed handgun ammo. I I've been doing a lot of shooting down here. Turn that light off. Okay, so that's a dead end over there. And that doesn't want to open. Oh, what is that? Uh, it's just a red room. I'm doomed! I'm doomed! Oh, God! Somebody help me. <laughs> I, I can't do anything. I is, is this just a death trap room? I'm trapped in here. Well, I... My flashlight does nothing. Okay, okay. It, so that's just a... That's just a scare room right there. Hmm. Does... does I, I don't think that thing has a head. But, but let, like I, I don't I don't think it has a head. Uh, let me put some new flashlight batteries in. Yeah, I don't think it has a head. It doesn't. Well, it it dies all the same. Oh God, it's not dead yet. It's not dead yet.
out of ammo. I'm never gonna make it. What do I do now? I need protection. What's this pain? Oh god. It's like my brain's about to explode. Oh, oh god. It's happening again. Oh god, help me. Help me. I can't go. Uh, oh, it looks like we're tripping balls again. Uh, 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 uh oh. It, is that a game over? Is that just a... No. Well, tell me what this is all about then. Surely you feel it in your gut. I'm on stage. Some kind of interview? Not sure. Huh. Uh, well, well, I do appear to be on stage, so, yeah, we're, we're on stage. Is that why I'm here? To perform? Pointing out the obvious. Typical of you. A man needs to have protection. You know that. Yeah, got, got a glove up. I'm, uh, wh what? <laughs> if you need to see me again, take the blue pill. I, I already popped a bloop. Oh, hey, I'm just suddenly back home again. I seem to have something extra in my backpack. It looks like it might be some ammo. What the hell? Hmm. Well, I, uh... I, I have 21 ammo now. That's nice. It's time to eat. Well, already, um... Let me see what I got. Also, how's the flashlight holding out? I have no extra. Oh, this is a problem. Oh no, I have two extra batteries. Okay, it's not time to panic just yet. Hmm. Well, I, I kinda don't really have any good food. I do have milk. Do, do we wanna, I don't think we wanna drink that. Uh, let's combine the cheese. Yeah, let's let's make some more sliced cheese crackers. Mmm. Tastes as orange as it looks. Nice. Ah, uh, Sierra, no, no, no pink pills. Uh, that's not the kind of protection we need. So let's let's go back into the dusty mirror. Um, I I kind of just got lost and and had to shoot my way out, and that didn't work out for me too good. Hmm. So let's go the other way this time. I, I tried going left last time, and that took me down a rabbit hole. So I feel like this time around. I need a map. I really need a map badly. Oh, that's a bottomless pit. That is bottomless pit. Okay, that one's rusted shut. I can go through here, and here's here's some enemies that I've I've shot before. That's nice. I man, I really I really need a map. That's what I really really need right about now. But it looks like. Everything is locked from the other side. And I've already been down here. I, I've already been this way. Hmm. I, I don't like that I, I kind of have to have my flashlight on down here. I mean, I don't have to. I can get by, but... Oh, wait... God. And it's down. Is there more? No. We did it all for a can of beans. Totally worth it. Oh, oh god, a map. I need that. Okay, so we've we've already explored a very good chunk of this place. So there's a room already marked on here. No idea why. 
Okay, so if we if we just keep going to the left, I think. Uh, stomach's growling. Hold on. Uh, stomach is growling, so that means that means. Let's eat them beans. Okay. So flashlight on. Okay, we cannot just go to the left. There's a hole. So, what, what's over here? Got a large fuse. O okay, so we have one item that we're gonna need, but we can't go... We can't go further to the left because the bottomless pit. Hmm. But at least now I have a map. So... Okay, we have a fuse. There's some... I think I need to go further down that one hallway. So from here, we just go left. I, it's kind of difficult to, to tell where you are on the map at any given time. Okay, so if we go, if we go down here and straight. So from here, I guess we we go left, and there should be a way to. Um, there there should be some way to to progress, but hmm. Oh no, I went the wrong way. I again, it's so easy to get turned around because. 3D maps. Oh god. The 3D maps and, and you know 2D controls they don't work out so good. Mm. So Okay, let's take that red pill. Swallow. That perked me up a bit. But I'm still really damaged, so I guess I need to eat something. Like eating cardboard. Mm. So the, the the red pills didn't didn't help me out too much. Ooh, crackers. Oh. Hole ahead. Okay, so from where we're at, uh, I guess just go this way. Uh, it's dark now. Oh boy. Go back in. Go back in. Okay, so I'm gonna have to have my gun out and ready. Uh, is, is there by chance a mirror anywhere nearby? There is a mirror nearby. There actually is. Uh, if I can get to it, I would sure as hell love to... I, I would sure love to get to get me to a mirror. I sure would. Uh, I, I need new batteries for that light. I'm wasting a lot of batteries down here. Okay, we can just get over here light off okay I, I figure since I've been finding things I might as well also I mm, I think I need more ammo I I'm pretty sure I need more ammo so a, as much as I didn't want to I'm gonna pop another blue pill yeah <sighs> need to sleep that off. Head's pounding. So, yeah, let's, let's blue pill it up. You know, you haven't even asked me my name yet. I don't want to know. What does it matter? So what is it? Well... You know what? I am a I am a curious boy. 
What is it? You're obviously dying to tell me. You know it as well as I do. I have always been with you. Listen, you need to get out there and start being a man. So he just gave me some more ammo. Hmm. I feel a little better. And, uh, well, the thing is, Sierra, the, the pills, the, the blue and green pills make you sleepy. So if you, if you don't go to sleep, you're, you're gonna get drowsy. And, uh, I, presumably bad things happen when you get too drowsy. So let's eat some crackers. And he's, he's always hungry or sleepy, so... He's basically a sim. Alright, let's go back in the mirror. At least we don't have to take care of his bladder need. At least we don't have to do that. Alright, so I'm just... I'm walking in literal darkness right now. But I'm trying to save battery life on, on the flashlight. Alright, where am I? Okay, so from where I'm at right now, I need to go right, and there should be a door. I believe this one. Yeah. So, there's a, there's something we're going to have to shoot immediately in there. Let's do it. Alright. So, got some handgun ammo, and a maw. It almost looks like a mouth. Furtively, you know, eyes dart left and then right. Zip. No, 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 no. Well, I... Sure, I'll put my hand inside it. Here goes. That feels sharp and squishy. Ugh. But I got the generator key. Well, that's good. That's good. So, okay, we got the generator key, but where's the generator? That's the question. Hmm. I'm, I'm willing to bet the generator is, uh, hmm. I, I'm willing to bet it's, it's too far away is the answer. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to... Oh, God. Let's go out here. Go down hallway. Check map. Yep, so we, we go straight down. And then there should be a door to go in. He's hungry again. So, yeah, I, I'm not turning... Like I know it's pitch black, but I'm not turning my light on if I don't have to. Also, do I have more batteries? This is the question. I... Batteries are always on my mind. So, I don't have any spare batteries at all. Mmm. Let's eat some cheese crackers. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start cooking things. I just I just don't have anything I can cook. Alright, so from here, let's take a right. And we're like I, I have no extra batteries at all. Okay, gotta gotta kill these things. I'm guessing that shooting yeah, I, I'm guessing that shooting their legs is the better choice. Okay, that one's sealed. Hey, I got a gas can. Awesome. I'm guessing I need that for the generator. Infection an infection covering everything. Y yeah, everything's covered in fleshy goop. Nice. Got some beef jerky. Turn that for hit. Yeah, always got to turn that flashlight off. I I may have to use some green pills. Oh look, he's he's getting getting tired already. Okay, if I don't if I don't need it, I have rice pudding. Yay! Turn that off. 
it, it's just when you have no batteries for the flashlight and what's my flashlight at it's at 65 percent so i really can't afford to keep my flashlight on oh, oh. can't go any further that way this this is new territory here Okay, where are we? Right, like, is there any? Oh god, there's ammo. There's there's ammo right there. So we're shooting him. There we go. Okay, I'm I'm ready to do some killing. Mm. <laughs> oh man, Sierra. Can't get those cheesy rice cakes. Oh. I've never had cheesy rice cakes, but I've had I've had like um like little uh, I think for rice and cheese combo. Like uh there was I, I had them imported once, like little um like they're like little rice crackers, but like they they were with cheese like little cheese filling in the middle and then and they were kind of like bourbon flavored as well, with with actual bourbon too, surprisingly. Even though it's just you know just a little junk food snack. Okay, hold on. Let's... No, no, no. I don't need the light to see this guy. All right. I'm going for the legs. not done. Yeah, they they ain't done yet. Man, those those big ones, they take a lot of hits. So, just, just a nice long hallway. Ooh, fruit salad. Mmm. Turn that off. See, I'm I'm being real conservative with my flashlight, all right? I, I know it's like you're looking at like a black screen, but it's this is how the game's got to be played. Okay, we're at the end of the hallway. Uh, but it keeps going. Nice distress flare. Turn it off. Let's check our inventory. I have sixty percent. So yeah, look, you the flashlight. I've I've only had the flashlight on for a couple of seconds, and. And yeah, that took 5% battery. That it goes down so fast. I think he's a little hungry too, right? So uh yeah, let's let's use the fruit salad. Been waiting for this. It's delicious. Nice. All right. So we have the elevator and the call button. Hope this works. Seems to have no power. The entrance must be just up there. If I can send the elevator up there, maybe I can trap the creature in it. Well, there's a doorknob here somewhere. I, I, I need to find the generator. Uh, you know what? The game is giving me a window here, so I should probably take it. I'm starting to look like one of them. Oh, oh no, that's not good. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. Do we want to take any pills before we go to bed, or... I, I feel like he keeps getting hungry, and also we're, um, we're real low on, f on uh, flashlight batteries. I, I believe you can get more batteries by taking green pills, I think. And we haven't... We've only, you know, we've only used one green pill, so... We might be able to get away. I don't know how many pills we can take. Let's swallow. I I'm going green. Here we go. I uh, don't know what that did to me. Get a little drowsy. We'll find out. Need sleep. So yeah, let's go to bed. Sleep now. I'll have a snooze. Good, 
good old good old box head. So let's talk. We could keep going, but let's talk to the man who wears a box. Hello again. Did you figure it out yet? Why I chose to wear a box? Uh, to hide. You're ugly. Not sure. Let's get all deep on him. So, no, you wear a box to hide. Yeah, you wear it to hide? It's not as stupid an answer as it sounds. Hmm. Well, I can see you're finding things difficult. I'll ease the pain a little. The darkness is infectious. So did did he just give me some flashlight batteries? I really hope he did. I needed that. Yes, he just gave me two flashlight batteries. So, hmm. <laughs> so yeah, you you take the green pills and you get you get flashlight batteries and I think food as well. Can't be too sure on that one, but I I, I think he gives you either food or batteries, whichever one you need more. And, uh, you know, Soto, um, it, it's a face mask. I, I know it looks like a big smile, right? But it, it's a, <laughs> it's a face mask. You, you see it in the little, um, like, in the cutscene at the beginning, if you want to call it a cutscene. When, um, like, like, it shows his face, and he's wearing a white face mask, so it, that one's that one's not so ambiguous all right so we need to find the generator down here and now that I have a battery I can actually use my flashlight oh I found the handle nice so this is somewhere I've already been Oh, look, it, it opens out here. Well, ain't that nice. So let me guess, the generator is at the end of the hallway, right? I'm, I'm just guessing the generator's at the end of this hallway. It worked. I used the generator key. Well, that's nice. What's inside? Ah. My head! It, it's its meat! There's meat on the wall! What's happening? Help me someone! Anyone! Help me! My head! It's pounding! Oh no, we're, we're having another freak out. Oh! What, what's this now? We're not skipping it. How did I get here? Nothing makes much sense anymore. Am I dead? Is this what it feels like? Hmm. The pixels. Some nice tunes. <laughs> And no, Izul, we, it's, the game's not that short. Hmm, I really don't remember. I'm not sure. Come on, you. I know you're just teasing, really. Oh, always such a kidder. Which, by the way, someone needs to remind me I need to play Harvester before October month is over. You always used to tease me like that. Never seen you before. I must be dreaming this. Very funny, you. Like I, I don't know who you are. Anyway, I'm glad you took me here. It's 
It's been a long time since we left the city. It looks so far away from here. Yeah, it does. I've forgotten what it felt like. Peaceful. Oh, a little, little, little 16-bit handhold. And, and yeah, it's like our name is just you and her name is just her. So, they, they, no one needs a name. You know, we should play that game we used to play. I'll run off and you count to like a million. And then you come and find me. You, you, you mean hide and seek. And if you really can't find me, I'll wait for you here. How's that sound? Hmm. Sounds like fun. That's, that sounds like good foreplay to me. And, and now we're gonna... Foggy fade out here. What's happening to me? Like, well, hey, look, the good news is the room is no longer covered in meat. <laughs> I have to get out of here. I can't take much more. Get a grip, you. Pull yourself together, man. You're stronger than this. Okay, so where are we now? Ooh, an irradiated orange. Mmm, that, that sounds like it's gonna be delicious. So, uh, okay, we gotta... Oh yeah, I can't interact with that. So hungry! Fuse board. Looks pretty ancient. Doubt it's that safe. Think it's something to do with the generator, maybe. So, yeah, let's go ahead and put the fuse in. Alright, I should get it going again. And let's put the gas in the fuel. That should be enough to get the elevator working. Turn it on. Okay, switching on. Let's hope this works. Uh, did, did it work? It's already running. Okay, good, good. Everything's powered. So now we can we can go back to the elevator room. After we save our game, that is. Alright. So from here, just go like right over Oh oh got flashlights flashlights going out. New batteries. That, uh... Oh, God, didn't, didn't mean to do that. Hold on. It... Navigation is tricky. So let's turn our flashlight off. And he's really hungry. So let's see what we got to eat. Ah, I got beef jerky. I, I have an irradiated orange, too. Uh, let's look at it. Irradiated orange. There's no other way this is still an orange. Mmm eat it. And this is risky. It tasted oddly fresh. Nice. So let's look in the mirror, save our game, and then let's try and try and bring oh god, gonna, gonna bring that giant one down into the elevator shaft. Mm. Alright, sleep. I'll have a snooze. No pills for me this time. I'm good. I feel a little better. So yeah, see? He likes it when we don't shove pills in his mouth before he goes to sleep. He, he likes that better. I, I, I don't think he so much likes all the drugs we make him take. There's a doorknob. Okay, so let's try this. Push the call button. Hope it works. Well, does it? Hmm. 
But if he comes down the elevator, aren't we gonna... Isn't that gonna be a problem? Like, why are we just standing here? What's that? Uh-oh. Oh, no. We should really move right now. I need to run! Yeah! Time to run! Time to- Oh god, it's time to run! It moves faster than we do. Oh no, oh no, I think I'm dead! I... Oh... The thing is, like, I don't know where I'm going down here, so, uh... Just, just keep running, I guess. Just don't... Oh god! <laughs> Input! <laughs> oh no, oh no! Oh, okay, good, good. It's not just instant death. It's not just instant death. That's that's very, very good. Uh, I need to check my map. Uh, keep oh god, the map does not pause the game. Map doesn't pause. Good to know. Okay, okay. We, we, we don't have time for any of these side rooms. No time for that. Ain't no time. Also, let's hope the flashlight doesn't give out on me. Okay, no, not that way. Uh, I, I just have to like try doors and hope I hope I don't waste too much time. I like it how he's just kind of move. He's just kind of sauntering at a leisurely pace. Yeah, not now, not now for that door. Oh no! Oh god! This is bad. This is bad. We just might be dead. I, I don't know. I, I think I've gone the wrong way. I think I've gone the wrong way. Oh no. Oh god, no! <laughs> and he's just dancing. It looks like he's dancing. Come on. So, my, my poor sense of navigation killed me again. Oh. It's, it's really a problem that you, you can't check the map while this happens. Like, I, I I need my map. <laughs> I really need my map. I, I guess, here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to look at the map really carefully, and we're gonna have to plot a course so that we know exactly where to go. Although, really, I feel like the, the answer should be just, like, just, you, you know, go in the door, right? Like, what we should do, right, is... You push the call button and then just like go over here and then go in the mirror, right? But I don't think that's what they want me to do. <clears throat> so from here, so it's pretty easy to go straight twice. That's that's pretty easy. But uh, then it, it gets tricky once we get past all the little rooms on the left side of the map. So most of these like, okay, it hmm, it's tricky is is tricky I, I guess now that I know that you know checking the map is a bad idea and now that I know that hmm. and all right see, see you later Azul Ugh. so man I this this is gonna be rough it's gonna be real rough I have a horrible sense of direction, especially in a 2D game like this, where, you know, 3D directions are difficult to figure out. Yeah, time to run. Alright, so the first part's relatively easy. That, this part's not, not too tricky. So first exit we come to, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, here we go. Alright, and then there should be a long hallway with a bunch of little rooms, that's, that's not too tricky either, it's just, man, when we get to the other, to the main part, like, like after this things get a little, 
Things get a little dicey after this room. Alright. But at least now I know not to check the map. Like, you you cannot check the map during this. You can you can check doors, and if it's a if it's not a door you need to go in, then he'll say no, not now, not not the time, right? So that's that's good. But um Oh god, see look, that's a dead end right there. That's a that's a dead end. So see that's that's your first that's that's your first you done fucked up already. Hmm. I think there's a a door like Oh god. No, no, don't look at that. Don't don't Oh god, no, no, now is not the time. Come on, man. <laughs> It, it ain't the time for that. Okay. Okay. I made it. That freak can't fit through. But there's no way I'm going back in there. Ever, ever, ever again. Ever. Alright, so yeah, he's had enough of that. Okay, so, uh... So, yeah, hey, look, we, um... We, we, we did it. We escaped the basement. I, I basically just missed a door. That's, that's what killed me last time. Oh, I hear him. How much ammo do I have? Do I have any ammo? I, I only have six rounds. broken okay so I have I, I've got access now starving let's go back to the apartment and I have absolutely no ammo so um, mm, I, I think it's time to use another blue pill but before we do, let's eat some beef jerky. Yeah, not my favorite, but it works. Mmm. <sighs> Salty but solid. So, yeah, let's... Like, I'm gonna use the pills as I need to. So, let's, let's take that blue pill. Because I have, like, no ammo. Alright. Time to sleep. I'll have a snooze. Not you again! Ah, oh, you really annoy me. You're not even real. If I'm not real, why do you keep coming here? The... T <laughs> I would assume the drugs. You want to know something? I do it because I like it. Because it's easy. I don't get you. You make no sense to me. There's enemies in every shadow. Watch out. I needed that. So yeah, yeah, I've got ammo now. So uh, this this does bring up a good point though, right? You know, it's like, why do you keep coming back? Oh, it's the drugs, because it's easy. And, th and, and that's the thing, so... So this does affect the ending, and, well, you know, the, hey, it, it is easier to shoot the enemies, right? Like, if you, if, you, if you don't shoot the enemies, you have to stealth by them, and stealthing is a lot harder. So yeah, you know what? It is easier to just take drugs and, and shoot your guns at the enemies, but, um, but I, I think we're kind of setting ourselves up for a bad end. It, it's all good. Alright, so I, I guess we can leave the apartment complex now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There's a lot of things over here. A lot of things. Well, I took the blue pill. Get, guess it's time to kill things. 
blue pill all day, every day. Alright, got some fruit salad. And, okay. So, from where we're at, the... Hmm. So, like, where, where am I supposed to be going to? Hmm. Alright, well, we've already been in 101. We've already been there. Wait, this is a. Uh, this is just the exit, isn't it? Hold on. Oh, new, new battery time. I can't believe I made it! At last! Maybe it will do me good to be outside. Then again, maybe it'll kill me. I don't really care to be honest. I'm rotting in I'm rotting in there like those things. So yeah, time to time to leave the apartment. Well, it's time to go. We made it. And, and yeah, I got to watch out the battery while I'm using the map. But uh, hey, we're we're outside the great outdoors. Okay, so while we're outside, we, we don't really need the flashlight. I got the fire escape key. So that's a, that's a quick way to get back up to the apartment. I think it's rusted shut. No way it's going to open. Alright, we don't have any map for this area. So uh, we, we don't have a town map just yet. The, the town of Pixel Hill. Can't get in that way. Alright, so let's go upstairs. Use the fire escape key. I'll get rid of it now. Alright, so... Yeah, see? We have a nice, quick, easy way to get back into our apartment. I'm hungry. Uh, uh, man, he's always hungry. Well, let's eat the rice pudding. I'll eat it then. Still good. Very good, in fact. And filling. Hmm. Let's go down the alleyway. So yeah, there's there's alleyways we can go down. There's guns and ammo. Let's look in the window. Is there someone in there? Hmm. Well, kinda not really. Let's look at the weapons. Let's see. Too big, too risky, too noisy, too messy. Nothing here for me. So yeah, he doesn't want all these nice fancy guns. Um, let's look at the handguns. Uh, these aren't as cool as mine. The door's shut tight. Hey, is there anyone in there? Who are you? Are you still human? Yes. Thank God you're alive. Let me in. It's not safe in here. Okay, one second. Let's look at the shelves. They're completely bare. Even if I did have something like food on them, I lost my appetite a while back. If you're dying for grub, I know where to get it though. Check out the grocery store on East Street. It's the weirdest thing, man. Someone restocks the delivery box there every day. Could even be one of those things. Still trying to go about its old routine. Freaky. Thanks for the trip, or for the tip, friend. No problem. It's better than eating rats, anyhow. I reckon it is. Man, can you turn that light off? Thanks for turning your light off, man. So, uh... Like, you want to get a better look at him, but, uh, hmm. So, let's... And he's got a nice poster on, nice anime poster on his wall. Is there anything back here? Shut and bolted. Now let's talk to the huddled figure. Thanks for saving my neck back there. What's your name? I'm Hank. 
What do you want from me, man? I'm not in a good state here. Well, I'm looking for anyone who's still human. Hmm. Yeah. Well, about that. Human would barely be a word I'd use to describe myself. At this point in time. One of those sons of bitches got me, you see, man. I've been holding out as best I can. But I can feel it starting to take root. It started out as an itch, you know? Once I... When I couldn't quite scratch, you know what I mean. Damn, sorry to hear that. So you're gonna turn into one of them, huh? Is that what happens? So they say. Don't really know, to be honest. I'm... Infolations, it informations. L limited on the subject. Wow, you're really in a bad way. You, sh you should end it. Hmm. There must be a cure. I don't think there's a cure. Will I get it too? Uh, you know what? Let's be a downer. Let's be Debbie Downer here. All right. Let's be double downer. All right. You should end it. You should put yourself out of your misery. There's no hope for you. I'm just gonna keep shooting them. It's all I got left. I mean. Who's better equipped than an ammo jockey? You want to take as many as you can down with you. For what it's worth, I do understand that. As for me, I think I'd rather be dead than one of them. Anyway, you can see I'm out of supplies. Nothing left to give you but ammo. I see you're fond of a pistol there, bro. It's good to have around. Well, what I'm after is pills, man. Give me one of those blues, and I'll give you a clip. How's that sound? Sounds fair to me. I think I might have a source. I'll see what I can dig up. Hang in there, Hank. Just watch out for those crazies. Let them get too close, and you end up like me. Do I have any blues on me? Uh, I used all my blues, so... So he'll take your blue pills and convert them into ammo. Um, so I guess that's better than, you know, stuffing the pills in our mouth, right? I, I guess this doesn't contribute to a bad ending. So this would be the preferable way to do it. But I'm guessing he's not gonna be... He ain't gonna be around forever, huh? So, uh, I do have a source for pills. Yeah, there's a few pills out on the top. There we go. So, yeah. Yeah, we can, we can refill our pill supply. So, let's... Let's give Hank some blue pills. Hank? Alright, I'm letting you in. Thanks. I got pills. So... Give. Hank? I got the blue pills you wanted. Can I trade them for some ammo? One blue for one clip. That's a deal, man. Now, if you'll excuse me. Can, can, I, can I trade more? Hey, uh, okay. All right, nice. So yeah, let's let's keep trading. All right, nice, nice. I got thirty ammo now. Hmm. So yeah, I, I guess I could just like keep giving. But let me, I'm, I'm guessing that like if I go, I'm guessing if I go to sleep, because like we, we only get our pills refilled once a day. So I'm, I'm guessing if we go to bed, he'll, he'll be either dead or a zombie if we go back. I'm, I'm guessing. So it's, it's just kind of a nice little, you know, free 30 ammo, which 
Hey, that's not bad. That ain't bad at all. So, yeah, I... Hmm. Let's see, I... I wonder... Hey, let's eat the fruit salad. Been waiting for it. It's delicious. Mmm. Alright, let's go to bed. I'll have a snooze. So yeah, it's nice. We found a little ammo supplier, so we didn't have to didn't have to pop the blue pills ourselves. Day 16. Mmm. So mmm. Well, you know what? 